Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. Today we're heading all the way over to Japan to check out a deck I'm super excited about. This is a deck that is similar to something we've talked about, something we've got a ton of questions about, we've written articles about it. How can we update the mono blue brain in the jar deck? And a player has actually done it and had success with it in a tournament over in Japan, Akuda Messiah. So congrats to Akuda on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, Take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Mono Blue Metallurgic Rise, and it combines uh, Metallurgic Summonings with all the pieces that made a Brain in the Jar, the Mono Blue Brains deck, so sweet. There isn't a Brain in the Jar, but it gets by without Brain in the Jar. So let's break down the idea of this deck. So first off, we have basically the finishers, and this deck has two plans. Uh, half of it, if you saw the Teamer Summonings deck that we played on Budget Magic like a week ago, half of it's similar to that. You play Metallurgic Summonings, you play a bunch of spells, generate a ton of Construct tokens, use those to win the game. Also works with Part the Water Veil, you play Metallurgic Summonings on 5, then on turn 6, you Part the Water Veil, get a 6-6, six, six, get an extra turn. On the extra turn, you tag with a 6-6, six, six, play a Part the Water Veil, get another 6-6, six, six, tag with both 6-6s, six, get an extra turn. That whole process process. So that's one plan. The other plan, and they kind of work together, you're casting all these spells naturally to fuel your metallurgic summonings. Well, that fills your graveyard for Rise from the Tides. So after you get a whole bunch of spells in your graveyard, you play a Rise from the Tides. Rise from the Tides give you a whole bunch of zombie tokens. And unlike in past formats where we were super worried about Languish, taking out all of our stuff, that can still happen with Declaration and Stone or Radiant Flames, but there's not as many rests right now. Most decks, a lot of decks are cheating on interaction and don't have those sweepers, so we're kind of free to just cast Rise from the Tides for six mana, pass the turn, hope that our zombies live and we win the game the following turn. Of course, if we do get to 12 mana, we can do the Rise from the Tides plus part the Water Veil in the same turn trick, and then we just win the game. And then the rest of the deck looks a lot like our mono blue brain in the jar, except without brain. So we got engulf the shore and crush of tentacles to slow down the opponent, just bounce everything back to the opponent's hand. Works really well to kind of stall out while we're waiting to set up metallurgic summonings, waiting to set up rise from the tides. Select for inspection, helps you scry through your deck and bounces a creature temporarily. Works very well against vehicles because it's instant speed. Speaking of instant speed, Grip of the Royal taps down a creature and it doesn't untap. Also works against vehicles and you can surge it for only two mana. So if you select for inspection something, you can for only two more mana, cast a grip from the royal, and it draws you a card to keep you cycling through your deck. And the deck really wants to keep drawing cards and finding stuff. That's how it fills the graveyard. That's how it generates all the value with metallurgic summonings. So apart from grip of the royal, we got pieces of the puzzle. Great way to find our rise from the tides, find our interaction, our engulf the shorts, find more pieces of the puzzle to just keep chaining things together. Anticipate cheap and instant speed. Scour from the Laboratory is kind of expensive, but it does make a 6-6 six, six with our Metallurgic Summonings, and it can be cheaper if we happen to have Delirium, which isn't completely impossible. And then we have Jay's Unraveler of Secrets, kind of a backup win condition, another way to bounce a creature, and another way to keep drawing cards. Then, as far as interaction, we have Negates, super good right now with everyone playing Aetherworks Marvel, one of the best cards to deal with that combo, and Scatter to the Winds deals with that combo and anything else as well, plus it can give you a 3-3 if you really need it to. Mana base wise, really straightforward, we're missing the storage land, which makes getting to 12 mana a lot more difficult than it used to be, but 25 islands. And then in the sideboard, we have kind of a transformational package. We can bring in Thing in the Ice, which takes advantage of all the spells we're playing. We flip it around. Our opponent isn't really expecting creatures, so they might take out a lot of their removal, giving us free reign to just flip Thing in the Ice and go to town and win with a 7-8. Feel very familiar. Gains us some life. Also draws us a card. Then we have a ton of counter options. Ceremonious Rejection for Artifacts. Also can hit Emrakul and Ulamogs and Aetherworks Marvel. We've seen some Pro Tour decks playing it in the main 
deck. That's how good it is right now. Invasive Surgery gets a Sorcery. Revolutionary Rebuff, eh, the worst mana leak of all time, but it does technically counter some things, can win a counter war, and then Summary Dismissal for Emrakuls, Elder Deep Fiends, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we have a little more bounce with another Crush of Tentacles and a single Torrential Gear Hulk, which has a ton of flashback targets in the deck, can also be a surprise finisher. So that is Mono Blue Metallurgic Rise, and that's been our instant deck tech for today so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon